and it's Davis' third home run tonight. They're going wild at the Coliseum. There's another drive. Deep down oh the line, goodness. he crushed another one. Up into the billboard for another three-run homer. That's sick. He's driven in eight runs today. His third home run of the afternoon. Goodness gracious, Mookie yeah. Betts. What a day. Doesn't get any better than that. Four for four, three home runs, eight RBIs. Every time he touches one off, it's a no-doubter. Here's the 0-1. This is going to be a tough play. Bryant, the Cubs win the World Series! Bryant makes the play! It's over! And the Cubs have finally won it all! 8-7 and 10! That ball is drilled to right field as he hit another. Touch them all! Two homers, two doubles, and the Padres win! Amazing night for Ryan Schimpf. And his 14th homer of the season, his second of the night, wins it for San Diego, 7-4. From City Field in Flushing, Queens, welcome to Major League Baseball on MLB Network. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Atlanta Braves and the New York Mets. Looking forward to this matchup, and it's next on MLB Network. Jacob DeGrom, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. So striding in, Ender Inciarte. So we check out how he did in August versus how he's finishing off the season down the stretch here in September. From the windup, the one one pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Cabrera into shallow left. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. And now a moment to show you the lineup for Atlanta in this one. What's the key for them to win this series opener, Harold? Well, Matt, the first thing that I thought about why they're struggling winning games is they're out near the bottom slugging. When you're not driving the ball and being able to score runs with power, you're going to have a tough time winning games. And that's this club right now. They've got to figure out some way to inject some power into this offense and get that slugging percentage up. Coming to the plate now, Nick Markakis, currently ninth in the NL in hitting entering play. Bases are empty, one man out. Squared that one up just a little late. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. Swing and a miss as he ran that in on him, a ball and two strikes. Boy, that pitch looks so good when you're hitting, but you're not going to catch up to it. I think pitchers should use that more often. A high fastball in the eyes, they will never catch up to it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Braves. Braves nothing, Mets coming to bat. You're watching MLB Network. Julio Tehran, a Colombian native, gets the call to start this one. What's your take on him, H? Well, Matt, he's getting close to 200 innings, so I want to see what's his stuff look like. Because when you get to that 200 barrier, that's when guys start to have fatigue set in. The stuff's not as electric. The fastball doesn't explode. The breaking ball doesn't snap. He's moving to that range now, so I'm curious to watch him throw in this game. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. A fastball that just misses inside. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. 
Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back to back fastballs and that one was able to find the zone. Swing and a miss on the slider and that's out number one. Time now to take a look at Terry Collins Mets starting lineup in this one. HR what's the key for him here tonight. Well, Matt, this is a winning ball club, and a big part of it, they hit the ball. They don't just hit it, they hit for average. They put a lot of guys on base, and they drive them in because they make contact. Tough team to pitch to. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. Career numbers against Julio Tehran. Comes in with six hits in 18 at-bats. Looking for back-to-back -back K's to start the game. Line towards center field. Inciarte is there now, and he has it, two gone. Well, this one was squared up pretty good, but just like pitchers give up hits on well-executed pitches, batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. So digging in now, Michael Conforto looking to stay hot. He's been a real threat at the plate the last week or so. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two and two. Well, time to look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Dave Lawrence. Matt, the interesting thing about Lawrence, now I think the way he sets up is almost telling you what he's going to call. He'll call one side of the plate more than he will the other. Look at his setup. Maybe that'll help you out. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. We are still scoreless. So here's Matt Kemp now. He appeared as a pinch hitter in yesterday's contest. Here's the one and one pitch. And he chased up and out of the zone, a swing and a miss. Wow, that's a high pitch. You know what? The closer that ball gets to your eyes, the better it looks. And guys just hack at it. It's a natural swing. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And in the outfield, Joanna Cespedes, this guy's got maybe the best arm in all of baseball. Seems like every time there's a big moment or a big play, he comes up gunning, and he's gunning guys at the plate. He is so fun to watch throw. Adonis Garcia digs in now. In previous duels with the Grom, 5 for 15. Now a little pop-up off toward the first base side. And he'll put this away for the second out. Striding in, Tyler, Tyler Flowers. Flowers. He's got that average up over the 290 mark to begin play. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. And that'll do it in the inning as the catch is made in the coach's box. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. On now to the bottom of the second, and we are tied nothing nothing. Here's Juana Cespedes. And as the season nears an end, he currently leads the league and runs batted in. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. And now a good slider that doesn't quite catch the zone. It's two and one now. Well, when you're behind an account like this pitcher is, it's a good time to work in something off speed if you're confident in it. Most hitters are looking for fastball. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Under it now is Kemp, and he'll make the play for the first out. All right, here's how the Braves line up defensively, brought to you by Majestic. And at first base, Freddie Freeman. Freddie can pick it, man. Throw the ball in the dirt, Freddie's coming up with it. And don't be surprised, he does the splits on you every now and then. Standing in, Wilmer Flores. And this is a good looking matchup for him here. As you can see, he's hit lefties quite a bit better than he has right handers this season.
The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Line drive to center field, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Now with the plate, Matt set. Reynolds. First Here's shot for him play. here with a runner Matt. at first now and run away. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And a fastball just a bit high. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. He's fallen behind now, three and one. You throw two balls that close, man, you got to get at least one of them. You're feeling like, I hit my target. What's he looking at? Ready on three and one, here it comes. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. And that'll get down for a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. I love running the guy on the three two count. You know the pitcher's going to be around the plate. And if you got a guy that can handle the bat like this guy right here, you put the ball in play, and now you get the base hit on top of it, and you're sitting first and third. Beautiful. Into the box, Rene Rivera. Two and two now. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. Now a curveball knocked down at home plate. The runners will hold tight, but it's a full count now, three and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. But gloved by the third baseman for the out. Now a throw to first. Doubles up the runner. Tough luck that time as he got stuck in no man's land following the line drive on the hit and run. So no runs here on two base hits. No errors. And one man left on. We'll go now to the top of the third. And we are tied nothing nothing. Matt Vasquez and Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, the former number one overall pick, Dansby Swanson is the first to bat in the inning. The two and one on its way, and this is going to be a foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the two-two pitch, and another foul ball. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. He's just got great strikeout stuff. In his last start, he racked up double-digit base, and it looks like he could finish up in that range again here. He's really an exciting pitcher to watch when he's sending guys packing like this. In now, Jace Peterson. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Third inning, no score to this point. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here, and there are two away. He showed right there why having a good change of is so valuable. Two and two, and he flips one up there that the bottom really falls out at the last minute. It's so hard to pick up, and it's even harder to make good contact with. Now at the plate, Julio Tehran. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. A little bit outside, two and one. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Line to the right side, but he will close fast out there in right field as he comes on to put it away, and the inning is over. Braves are set down one, two, three. Home half of the third coming up, no score. At the plate, Gavin Cicchini. He enters play hitting down in the 240s for the year. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Lays off the fastball low and it goes to two balls and a strike. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. 
And it misses three and one now. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. A high fastball is in there. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Swing and a looper to left. Markakis posts under it. He's got it one away. So one gone now as we give you a look at where these two teams find themselves entering plague in the National League's Eastern Division race. Stepping in, Jacob deGrom. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. Two balls and a strike, here it comes. Laid off as it caught the inside corner. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Hit out towards second. Peterson has it. Throw on to first, two gone. The right fielder, number nine, Brandon. Striding in once again, Brandon Nimmo. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Two out, nobody on. Oh, that hit him. Let's hope he's okay. Fortunately, he's able to stick with it and get the out at first, and that'll put an end to the inning. Nothing across here this half. Three innings complete, and we are tied nothing nothing. Here's Ender Inciarte back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. In front of the change up there is this is chopped foul at home plate. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Conforto moving to his left, one away. Now batting, left fielder. Nick Ready for Mark another Kekis. chance. Nick Markakis comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Again, a one two. Hard hit towards center. Conforto is there, two gone. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. He's home for one thus far. Here's the one and one delivery. Now a foul tip that's held onto with the plate and the count moves to one and two now. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much a swing and a miss. That retires the side and that will do it. Down in order go the Braves. On to the bottom of the fourth now still with no score. Digging in to try it again as Drupal Cabrera 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A 1 1 home to Cabrera. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring pitcher's duel for once. And this inning starts with a solid base hit. So with a man aboard now, the RBI men will have an opportunity with nobody out in the inning. Well, Matt, that's the sixth game. He's got a base hit in now. You got to start a streak somewhere. I start paying attention about six games. He's swinging about pretty good. Into the box now, Michael Conforto. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. A called strike on the inside corner. No runs, three hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. To second for one, 
On to first, and it's a double play. The second they've hit into in these first four innings. And there are two away now. Hey, it's hard to do anything with a pitch like that that's below the zone. And if you do do anything with it, most of the time, this will be the result a double play on a good pitch down in the zone. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Joanna Cespedes. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, and that, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. For the second time, it looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two out rally started. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Ready to deal, here's the two one. High pop up. And Flowers able to make the catch here, and that ends the inning. We'll see Matt Kemp start things out when we return. We played four full, and we are tied nothing nothing. Digging in for his second at bat, Matt Kemp comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Ground ball left side. Cicchini picks it up. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out. One away. Now batting. Third baseman. Adonis Garcia digs in now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Into the windup. Ready with the payoff pitch. Lined foul right over the Mets dugout. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it off. Swing and a high pop-up. Could be tough back behind third. Cicchini takes charge out there, and he stays with it for the second out. Now batting. A look at our line Catch score to this point, Tyler and I'm almost foul. certainly jinxing things by pointing it out, but it's worth mentioning that zero in the hit column through two outs here in the fifth. Here now is the catcher, Tyler Flowers. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Now a little soft liner foul over to the right side, and the count will move to 1-2 and two now. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Braves are set down one, two, three. Halfway home, still no score. Now batting, Wilmer Flores. He singled his last time up. Way to 100 pitches. Here it is. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, he clearly read the scout report. This guy's been sizzling hot, and look at how careful he's been pitching him. And a pretty good take there on the slider down. It's ball three. Well, he's been throwing the ball pretty well so far, but right here, three balls to the leadoff guy to maybe get them a chance to get them going. He's just got to come back, make him swing the bat. I'd rather see him earn his way on the base by swinging the bat instead of a walk. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And they'll start this inning off with a base hit as that one's through. He's been looking really good. Another hit, another multi-hit game. This hot streak has been really fun to watch him perform. And here to hit now is Matt Reynolds. One for one after a single his first time up. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. No runs, four hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Runner, Runner goes. Fooled him a bit as this is hit high in the air towards right center and shallow. Kemp has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Up next for the Mets. At the plate, Rene Rivera. Rene Rivera.
the set and the one one pitch. Now a flare out to left center calling for it. Markakis. Two down. Now batting. Third baseman. Digging in. Gavin, Gavin Cicchini. Cicchini. So far 0 for 1 with a fly out. Two out with the man at first. He's oh, fallen man. behind now, three and one. No reason to sit on anything other than hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. Tehran sets. Here's the three-one. Had him fooled there as this is lifted in the air out to left center and shallow. Markakis is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Mets leave one. Sixth inning coming up. Still zip zip. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Hit toward the right side. And this will be put away easily for the out. The batter number eight. Second baseman. Digging in to try Chase it again. Peterson. Chase Peterson. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here comes the payoff pitch. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. The payoff pitch one more time. Sent on the ground out to second. Flores has it on to first and there were two down. Hey when the guy on the mound is working on a no no this late every play is exciting and stressful for the fielders. We'll see if they can continue making the plays behind him. Braves are still looking to break into the hit column here. That's in there on the outer half one and two now. Tell you what his spot has been the outside pitch right there and now we're late in the game and he continues to pound the outside pitch and it's really working out for him. Ready to deliver the one and two. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right so we'll try it again at one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes and he struck him out so it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through six innings without allowing a base hit down in order go the Braves still no score ready for another chance Jacob DeGrom 0 for 1 for him here in this one. That's right there at the belt one and two now. Well it's been a good outing so far but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think Dan. Yeah it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out but other times you don't have your good All stuff right, and you really here. rely Number on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today and it's really working. One out nobody on. And that misses two and one. Boy, that's a great breaking ball right there. That's a tough pitch to lay off when that ball is coming in at that plane right there. Quality take. On the ground up the middle. Swanson picks it up. In time to first, and there are two away. The shortstop, number 13. Here now is his dribble Cabrera. One for two on his line so far in the game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Boy, Matt, he's making this good team look silly. He's about one pitch away. I mean, one good strike from getting all the way through the sixth inning. Three. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Mets go down one, two, three, and this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Neither team denting the run column quite yet as we look at the game summary through the first six innings of play. 
Here's Ender Inciarte. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, one down. Well, you know you made a real nice pitch when you bounce it in the dirt, and you still get the hitter to swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. Stepping in now, Nick Markakis. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. Not too often you see in the back go from 3 and 0 to a strikeout. So that's a pretty good job on the mound right there. Kind of nice that he got a free strike on the 3 0 take, but he still had to put it in the zone. Into the box now, Freddie Freeman. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Chikini is going to put this one away on the dirt in Ladies front of the dugout, and that ends the inning. The perfection inning continues. 21 straight retired. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark, and we still have no score. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Michael Conforto. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. No walks so far. Here's the 3-2. And that's lifted the other way out to left. On the move is Markakis. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Riding in once again, Joannis Cespedes. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Line drive to center field. Inciarte is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. I know they say sometimes that these things even out, but that was a bullet line drive that gets caught. He would have represented the go ahead run. Into the box, Wilmer Flores. Line towards center field. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Down in order go the Mets. We are still scoreless. Digging in once again, Matt Kemp. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. The one two offering looked like a slider that time but it's two and two. Well I like the pitch idea. It looked like he tried to get in the chase right there make him think that ball's over the plate and it runs away. But he laid off. It. I don't know how but he did. After two breaking pitches a pretty good chance right now. You're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing it. So if you're looking for it go ahead and turn that baby loose. Well he got what he's looking for. He just got out in front of it right there. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. Now we'll look at our starter comparison for the two starting pitchers and these home fans have been treated to a real gem as evidenced by that big oval shaped number in the hit column on the right side of your screen. Ready for another shot now Adonis Garcia third trip to the plate for him here tonight 0 for 2 at this point. And he misses two and one. Yeah that looked like a strike. Let me tell you. When you're staring at a big zero in the hip column. Getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. Boy he just threw that fastball by him. Changed up on him as this is grounded a second. Taken in by Flores. Throw gets him two down. Our line score there says it all at this point or if you prefer it doesn't say anything nothing nothing our score as you start to wonder if anyone's going to play to run in this one. Stepping up to the plate Tyler Flowers 0 for 2 on his line thus far. From the windup the 1 1 pitch fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Bases are empty here with two men out. 
There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Boy, he's been great in this one, and he's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. And all oh, that gets him on the mound. Fortunately, he's able to stick with it and get the out at first, and that'll put an end to the inning. Braves are set down one, two, three. Still no score. Ready once again, Matt Reynolds. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Now it looks like the Braves are going to get a lefty up and throwing in their bullpen. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And that one stayed too low, apparently. A cold strike on the inside corner. Guys, I've been really impressed with him tonight. I mean, he's carving these guys up with all of his pitches. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Just stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. The next 3 2. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw is not in time, and a great job of legging that out as now the go ahead run is on base to lead off the inning. comes the Braves manager out as he'll take that slow walk toward the mound and it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight he'll depart with our score tied and he'll still be accountable for the runner at first and the best he can do is a no decision in this one Chaz Rowe takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out Time is called and we'll have a pinch runner at first and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go ahead run. In now Rene Rivera he swings and grounds it to short played on the backhand. The second for one on the first and they get the double play but boy was he ever upended at second base. Well it was a promising start with the leadoff man on in a tie ball game but there's nothing like a double play ball to change the course of an inning. And so now the Braves will get both a left hander and a right hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Stepping in now Gavin Cicchini and he comes back with a fastball one and two now. Two out, nobody on. Frozen on the fastball, never had a chance, and the inning is over. Nothing doing for the Metropolitans. And this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Back in Queens at City Field as we get set for the top of the ninth inning in this one. Jose Reyes will stay in the ball game as he'll take over at first base. Now playing first base, number seven. Brandon Phillips is going to come on and pinch hit here, and this is an important at bat, leading things off in the ninth in a tie ball game. Grounded back up the middle, taken there by Cabrera. Throw on the first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Second baseman. In now, Jace, Jace Peterson. Peterson. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Bases are empty, one man out. Look out, and that'll give him a close shave. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And this is fouled back and out of play. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? Now a swing and a fly ball. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Keeps spiking him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. 
And he's just going to make him throw as many pitches as he can as he fouls another one away. And it's still folded three and two. Well, now they wait to work the count. This is a long A.B., but if they wanted to have any shot at him, you need to have these kind of at-bats early in the game. Hey, they haven't been able to register a hit against Not this guy, it. but at least You're they right. have a base runner here. We'll it's see if that leads to something. Down. Kurt Suzuki will be called upon Kurt here to hit Suzuki. with the game on the line. Now time is called and we'll have a pinch runner at first and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go ahead run. Good waste pitch one and two. Well he's thrown a lot of pitches in this one but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point but they're still making him work really hard. Ready with another two strike offering and he struck him out so double digits now 10 strikeouts for him thus far. And our bidder, number 11. Ender Inciarte. Into the box now Ender Inciarte. No hits in three tries so far he struck out once. Now the 0 2 pitch swing and a liner. Oh and the no hitter is erased here in the ninth. And that's going to move that go-ahead run to second now with two gone. Wow, well, he's got to be frustrated with that pitch. Did a nice job Nick of getting ahead of the hitter. Hickey. Wanted to go to change up to put him away and just hung it up there a little bit too long. comes Met skipper Terry Collins out to home plate and it looks like we'll see a double switch here. AJ Ramos will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. TJ Rivera will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. TJ Rivera. Standing in now. Nick Marcakis. A fastball that just misses inside. Well, this is what they didn't do yesterday. Execute a runners in scoring position. So now you got a chance. Here it is already in this ball game. You got a guy sitting there in scoring position. Drive him in, execute, and you jump away from yesterday's loss. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. Ready with another two strike offering and that misses for four so the potential go ahead run moves over to third now. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there and a walk is the result. Well the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news a single probably drives in a couple of runs. Here's the first baseman Freddie Freeman. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because meanwhile this ball gets down. It's a base hit. One run scores. And the second run will score. That makes it a two-nothing ball game. What a big hit right there late in the game to come up with two runs late in the ninth. Like that. Now you go to your bullpen to see if they can lock it down. Man, are they fired up. Stepping in, Matt Kemp, and we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Two down, runners at first and second. Wooden lay off that time, and it's one and two. And this is Pop fouled off to the right and back into the seats. Oh, he might have got away with one. Two strike breaking ball that ended up being in the zone. I think he probably won that out of the zone, but fortunately, he just fouled it off. He's set and the 2 2 pitch. And this one's in the dirt. So now two men in scoring position. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. So two runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Nine, one, and two scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. 
The Braves lead it two to nothing. Emilio Bonifacio will stay in the ball game now as he comes on to play second here. Number 64. Emilio Bonifacio now pitching for the So a save situation now as they turn it over to their closer, Jim Johnson. Johnson. Sean Rodriguez is also into the game as he takes over at short. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. And Dan, what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Boy, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at-bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. In there, two and two. They can't afford to continue to fall back any further. They got to get something going on the offensive side. Somebody's got to step up, give a big hit, maybe even a home run, drop a bunt, do something. But this offense has to get going. Swinging a ball, hit on the ground. Garcia gloves it, throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. And here's the former first round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, that ball's high as a strike in the zone can go, but umpires don't like to reward pitchers on that one. They want to make you get the ball down, so he called it a ball. Throw it down, you'll get the strike. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Curveball that time, not even close. Waiting on deck is Drupal Cabrera. Crowd gets up for the 3-2. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit, possibly more. And he'll pull into second with one away. That's what you call a clutch piece of hitting. Down clutch, two runs, he puts himself in scoring position and brings the tying one to the plate. We'll see what they do with the base open here. This one's getting interesting. Here now is his Dribble Cabrera, and his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. You know, he's one of their guys they rely on to get their offense going. They need a rally, so we'll see if he can spark one here. He's set and the 2 1 pitch hit sharply on the ground. Bonifacio comes up with it on the first, and Cabrera's a ground out victim. Two away. Striding in, Michael Conforto. He's hitless coming into this at bat, so the hit streak he's been riding is on the line here. Yeah, he's up in the double digits with it. You know, he wants to keep it going as long as possible, but this very well could be the last chance to do that. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Two is left. Rodriguez. Throw to first will be in time to get him. And the Braves have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. The Atlanta Braves win this one despite banging out only two hits. Chaz Rowe earns the victory in relief in this one, his seventh of the year. Jacob deGrom struck out 10 in the losing effort. Jim Johnson records the save his 43rd of the campaign. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, the lefty Dan Plezak, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Atlanta Braves. Two runs on just two hits. No errors. They left two minutes. The long pause. Now the kick, here it comes. Swing and a miss! Swing and a miss! He struck him out with a slider! He has tied the man!
major league record for strikeouts in a game with 20 strikeouts. Randy Johnson, Kerry Wood, Roger Clemens, and now Max Scherzer are the only pitchers in the history of this game to fan. 